After suffering its first loss of the year, Jackson State went with a more reliable playbook against Southern University. The night is going to be special because I got a bunch of special men in here that understand the assignment. Everybody understand me? Yes, sir. The last thing, man, I want to see smiles. You know what I'm saying? There it is, Jalen. <laughs> I want to see smiles. That's when we're at our best. That's when we're at our best, when we're out here having fun. Control chaos, but we're having fun. Y'all give me all those things, we're going to be good tonight. Yes, it's time to get back on track. Another thing that I'm so happy to family is back together. Yeah. JSU star receiver Seven McGee rejoined the team following an injury and helped the Tigers put a hurting on the Jaguars. So good, man. Just exciting. Just ready to go, man. Just my brothers with my team. Just can't, can't imagine enough. Can't imagine enough. Jackson State spotted the Jaguars 7 to nothing on a 65-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Harold Blood to August Petrie. But after that, JSU put a beat down on Southern. <laughs> Jason Brown bounced back from an erratic performance in the Orange Blossom Classic and had a solid performance in Baton Rouge. Late in the first, Brown led the Tigers on a nine-play, 73-yard drive that ended with a 15-yard touchdown run by Desmond Moultrie, tying the game at seven. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Without him, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I want to thank my coaching staff, co coaches in the box for calling the play, and Cobra Paul right here, my roommate for four years, for doing that last block to get me in that end zone. JSU's defense then began to splatter Southern's blood. Isaac Pepper sacked Harold Blood, forcing the Jags to punt it away after only four plays. JSU would then move all the way down the field from its own 10-yard line to the Jaguars' end zone. Jason Brown connected with Rico Powers on a screen pass, and Rico turned it into a dazzling 63-yard touchdown, putting the Tigers up 13-7 midway through the second quarter. Southern had an opportunity to quiet the JSU crowd as the Jaguars drove to the Jackson State 20-yard line late in the second quarter. That drive ended when Blood's pass in the end zone was intercepted by B.J. Washington. The Jaguars had another opportunity to score before the half, but Joshua Griffin's 52-yard field goal attempt sails wide right, and the Tigers went into the break with a six-point lead. I think we got a little more in the tank. In the second half, the Tigers became even more ferocious. They opened the third quarter by going on a 13-play, 65-yard drive, capped off by a 21-yard touchdown run from Irv Mulligan, extending the lead to 20-7. to the JSU defense forced Southern University's quarterback Harold Blood into two interceptions and a fumble. We here! Play for TC! Play for TC! The play the Tigers used to seal the game for TC was a reverse by Andre Hunt. He would take it 80 yards for the touchdown, giving the Tigers a 27-14 lead. JSU bounces back from last week's loss with the convincing win over Southern to improve to 2-1 on the season. You know, for the way that schedule is set up, and they uh, bounced back this weekend from uh, last Sunday. I mean, a hell of a game by my football team. I'm very proud of this group. I talked to them all week. I said we were going to hit. <laughs> I told them we were going to hit, and we hit in practice, you know what I mean? And they came out here and was physical today. You know, and we just found a way to win. I told them we got to increase the explosive plays and our defense. We got to stop, stop people and get turnovers, and they, they, they did that tonight. What does it say about the pedigree of this team and this coaching staff for you to have a bad game like we did in Miami and mm -hmm. come back in a hostile environment, yeah. environment like Southern University on the bluff and come out with a victory? We're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're going to fight. We're going to persevere. We take it one game at a time. You know, last Sunday what happened, that happened. But, you know, we put it behind us, and you see what they did tonight. You know, we played well defensively, played well offensively. Um, created turnovers, but that, that's that's what this football team is about. You know, that's why, how I wanted to look. I talked to them all week about that, and, you know, they came out here and did exactly what I told them to do. And special teams was good. Yeah! 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 